All right, hello, Fight Insight fans, viewers, and listeners. Today we're doing something a little bit different, um, outside of the norm from what we normally do, which is an MMA-based podcast. While we normally focus on fights inside the cage, today we're looking at one that's in our community. Our guest today is a fitness certified coach and owner of Holistic Fitness, helping others to create real change from the inside out while also learning to implement mind-body practices. She comes to us today to speak about an event that she's organizing. It's taking place this Saturday, July 31st at 11 a.m. in Ajax, Ontario. It's a fundraising event in support of the Indigenous community, and we're honoured to help her get her message out and to encourage people to join her on Saturday. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kat Sindel. Hi, guys. Come on, to all the Filipinos out there. What's that? Yes. Welcome, Kat. Mabu, yes. hi. There you yes. go. So, Kat, so first question, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so my name is Catherine Sindel, and I'm an entrepreneur, and I own the, I'm the owner of the Holistic Fitness, and I came from the Philippines um, from such a young age. I came here when I was 11 years old, and I'm a mom of three, so I'm a very busy person because I just had my baby 18 months ago. Well, not just had it, but he's still very little, but it's just having to, you know, juggle everything and and having to to do this event was was it was more of like a lot of things are, are going through like obstacles and stuff it just but it's a way of me like okay I gotta push through and and just to just see for myself where I can go with this and just putting things into action and not just say hey that's sad you know hearing things in the news and or seeing things on social media it's like it's one thing us posting the story but it's one thing you doing like implementing and taking things into action right so I told myself you know what why not do something why not do something scary right like it's, it's scary for me because I'm bringing people together what what they're gonna say and how they're gonna what like People expect different things, right? But to me, it's like, you know what? I want to get everyone together and 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 really do something that will make a change. And even if it's something small. Yeah. Well, nothing is small. Like the first thing to anything yeah. big is to taking that first step. So yeah. I'm going to show the image here of, of what your event is. And this is the, the image that we have here. Your Instagram is at Holistic Mum, which for the audio listeners of this podcast, we'll put the links in the show notes. But this is uh, together we can fitness boot camp for a cause. Um, so tell us a little bit about this event. So I name it uh, Together We Can because I want to bring people together. It doesn't matter if you're old, you're young, you're my age. You know, it's just one thing to to share light and bring that awareness because sometimes we forget. Like we're just so into into our world right our own problems and we're seeing like the bigger problem and and how to create a better community a better society and like it's just to me because i have my kids they're the one who really pushed me to to make a change right like i mean i grew up in i grew up in the society coming from the philippines coming here it's like a totally different world right so i kind of lost lost touch of my roots for a little while and then and then it made me just like you know what i had a trip in 2014 back back home after how many years like i think it was almost 16 17 years later i went back home in 2014 and that's one of the the reason what made me like really be grounded and seeing the things for what it is and even how dark it is because like i growing up back home i know the history and and just seeing that's what's happening there and it's happening here too. And like, we're so blinded because of the Western culture of like, you know, the society and, and like technology and we forget, like we have all this information, but we forget how to like, you know, ground yourself and, and do stuff. So that's why, that's one of the main reason I'm like, I'm gonna bring people together. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's big, small, like how many people are there. I, I It's to me, as long as people are there to see what I'm like my message is gonna be then I'm it's, it's all good like as long as I even touch one person's life right right and um, so but the, but the message for this event is about the indigenous community for, oh, yes the, like the indigenous community and um, I'm just spreading the what's been happening and like 
the the sad past that we have here and like just knowing that even even into today's time like a lot of people are the first nation people don't even have proper water and like those are the things that yeah. i want people to know right because we we are so great like we are like we have everything we need we have clean water we have food we have all this access but the people mm -hmm. that's been here before us and that that have every rights to all this necessity don't have it so which is right. such a bl mind blowing for me right mm -hmm. so it's like wow so I mean, you know what? I mean, a trip to the Philippines is usually a very humbling experience. Yeah. You go back there, you see how bad it is, and then you yeah. come here over here and you realize, man, we have it pretty yeah. good. And so we work yeah. even harder and struggle just because you know we we're fortunate to have this um, this opportunity, right? But I mean, Kat, I know you answered uh, a, a big chunk of it all already. But yeah. why was it important <laughs> for? <laughs> no, it's all good. But why yeah. why is it really important for you to take action? The most important thing for me is because we're raising kids right with the, our children and and the less legacy we leave behind what what is it that i'm doing now that i know that will pass on to the next generation and the generation after that is like things that i've seen growing up is like like less and less trees are are around less and less people care Right. So like the more we spread that, the more we do things, I feel like will help the next generation or my kids and and their kids will adopt to the things that we used to care for. Right. Back in the days, their ancestors and and just knowing those things. And I feel like because of the technology and the social media and and like um, the pharmaceutical, like it goes deep. Right. Like it's all these things are like all it's 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 we forget the cycle of life. Right. So yeah. we don't think about that. Our conscious mind don't think about those things. And subconsciously we need to learn how to how to influence ourselves in a proper way. You know, there's bad yeah. influence and there's good good influence, right? So and that's like the biggest thing that made me made me call into action is my kids and just knowing that no not a lot of people care. I mean it's the sad truth, right? So I'm just yeah. trying to like open up people's mind and seeing like what reality is all about. Because if we don't care and we don't do this, it's not we don't have an, a lot of time. It's time is of the essence right now. Like it's 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 sometimes people don't take that how serious that is. Like the world is it's just a lot of things is happening. Too much war, negative things, and people hating each other. Like you guys see it for yourself. Like. Black Lives yeah. Matter, Asian Matter, and all this like craziness and racism and and like there's so many things and people get overwhelmed. So for me, I was like, you know what? Let me just choose one thing that I know I can do something about it. Then let me go from there and take little small steps, right? And that's what matters the most is taking taking that step. Even no, that's yeah. Yeah. No, sorry, Kat. No, that's really great and. I'm going to change up my question just a little bit because, yeah, you've been kind of been like, I, I really appreciate what you're saying. Yeah. The event that you have this Saturday in Ajax, um, you are running a boot camp. So it's yeah. from 11 a.m. to 12. Mm -hmm. um, and again, we'll put the poster up and stuff, but yeah. it's you're running like a public boot camp. So it's like, yeah. and so for those that may not know that it means exercise, like, so yeah. you're going to be exercising, yeah. Yeah. you're going to be exercising yeah. with with some education being delivered yeah. on the plight of the indigenous community and what's going right. on. Um, and you're also going to be looking for donations, right? Like it's, yeah. it's an, it's an event to help raise awareness, but also to right. collect some donations. Right. Um, so what can people expect when they go to the event? So, okay. So what, how it's going to be, uh, first I'm going to introduce myself and for the people that doesn't know me, and then we're going to run a 45 minute, fitness boot camp so I have two set section where I'm gonna have my my fellow trainers that will help me along the side and so I have people so it's all fitness level but we're gonna break it down in one group just so that people that are already into working out can challenge themselves and then people that are just starting out and don't know what this really is is something that like oh okay this is what you know it's, it's just more like a okay um I could do like I could do a beginner stuff, right? So yeah. that's like 
So one group has this and one group has this. And then we'll have uh, DJ playing music as well, just to get everyone pumped up. And um, for after the four, 45 minutes, it's going to be fun. I promise you guys, it's going to be fun. That you, you're going to have your body, you know, like you're working your body. It's a mind-body connection, right? So we get your body ready. And then, well, once you get your body ready, your mind is, is, is processing all that. And then when we do the cool down after that, we will, um, I will have Mim Harder. She's a speaker and she's been working at Markham Stouffville as well uh, for 20 plus years helping the First Nation people and, and just spreading the word of like what, what's been happening and, and helping them as well and putting their, their story out there, right? She's been 20 plus years, so she has experience. So I, I was like, honestly, this, like everything you set in your mind and you sent to the universe, everything will just come to you. So like I was asking when I went back, cause I recently just went back to work and then I met somebody that was able to help me connect with her. And then, so yeah, so I'm gonna have her, I got one of my clients to say her poem. She made, she's a writer, so she, she wrote a poem. And so yeah, I'm gonna have that. And then, and then just have everyone, you know, like, just share the light and, and get together and hopefully like I will have some information what else they can do and then um, I will tell them where the money is exactly gonna go because I have Mim Harder sent me a whole bunch of different plates like at least five six plates that I can you know and it's actually run by First Nation people and like I would like to actually go there and see it for myself as well so yeah that's awesome I'm excited. Yeah. So, so Kat, actually, you know what? Go, going back to, I guess, a personal level and um, yeah. just looking, just listening to your personal journey, um, mm -hmm. how is your current journey now to, to this uh, fitness level in terms of uh, running holistic fitness? How has it made you a better person? Oh, how it made me a better person is not, it's, it, it helped me how to understand other people. The patient, right? The patient understanding other people, um, hearing their problems as well and, and knowing my problems like, wow, my, my problem is not that, you know, it's not that big, but some people are really dealing and it just like, to me is like, you know, it, it helps me to be more kind, to care more and not to just lash out or, or if I'm having a bad day because you're having a bad day, you lash out at somebody, you don't know what they're going through, right? Even though they, they could be smiling, but you don't know how, like, what their day is going so it made me just realize how how to be with other with other people and and it's just and really knowing like knowing what they're going through and and maybe asking you you know like just be kind and and show that you do care i think you were, i think the word that you were looking for was empathetic just being yes, more empathetic, empathetic. Yes, that's, it. that's it yes and show compassion Right? The passion that's it absolutely we lack of a lot of that nowadays in today's society right so um kat we're so happy to have you we're happy to help get your message out so I, on a side note i do know in speaking with kat before that she is a martial artist prince she used to do <laughs> karate <laughs> she used to do karate used to do cali used to do yes. uh, a little bit of Muay Thai. Yes, and, my dad told me to do Kali, like, yeah, from young, my dad always showed me self-defense, like what he knows, so I was always into that. But because of my three kids, like, it's just, it's just like, I, that focus is towards them. But now that they're getting older, I'm like, mm, I think I'm ready now. Yeah. And I was telling um, Pr Preston that I want to get into a fight. Like, that was one of my things in my bucket list, is to fight. <laughs> yes, yeah. I'm well, excited. Well, Kat, you're doing a great job. And for those that are listening, she's talking about Preston, who was our first ever guest on the podcast. Yes. He's a great guy, an amateur slash pro Muay Thai fighter himself. So that's how we actually, actually uh, made the connection. Yes. But Kat, so I mean, you're gonna you're you're doing a great job fighting for this cause. And again, I do want to say it's July 31st at 11 a.m. 11 to 12. It's at 700 Finley Avenue in Ajax, Unit 10. I'm sure when you get there, you'll see all the people gathering, right? So you'll know you're at the right spot. Yeah, it's outside. It's in the back, actually. Make sure we tell them it's in the back. Okay. Yeah, and so, okay, okay. And so you're going to go there. 
you're going to take part, you know, if you're, if, even if you're not going to go there and take part in the boot camp, just go there to support, go there to listen, go there to lend your ear, right? Learn the message. Um, and if you can, obviously the donations would really be appreciated. As Kat said, she's got donations that will go to specific causes that are led by indigenous people so that it, you know, it's getting to the, it's getting into the right hands, the, the hands yeah. that you mean it to. Um, Kat, before we let you go and before we wish you all the best, is there anything that you'd like to say? Well, what I like to say is that be thankful and be grateful and spread love and peace to everyone that you meet, to everything that you see and like, just take life to the fullest, right? Don't take it for granted. Thank you guys. Thank you. Maraming salamat at the cat and yes, take maraming care and uh, salamat. Salamat uh, salamat salamat. <laughs> and so I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the poster up as we go out. But thank yes. you so much, cat guys. Please thank do go and, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody. Hello guys. Bye. <laughs>